Good morning, guys. So today for um, our Friday lesson, we are going to be reading our book together. The book today is called Be Brave, Little Penguin. So I don't actually own that book. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to share my screen with you guys, and we're going to listen through this book together. And at the end, we're going to just recap it a little bit, talk about what happened throughout the story, okay? So let's get our screen up. All right. Hi there, boys and girls. Welcome to the Storytime family. Today we're going to be reading Be Brave, Little Penguin by Rachel Elliott, illustrated by Karen Sapp. Be Brave, Little Penguin. Little Penguin looks just like all the other penguins. He has a little orange beak. He has two tiny wings. He has a soft white tummy. But Little Penguin is not like all the other penguins. He doesn't like diving under the blue waves. He doesn't like splashing in the sparkling ocean. Little Penguin is scared of the water. Do you love the water or are you scared of the water? Everyone loves playing in the snow. Little Penguin likes the ice helter skelter best. He slides around and around and around. This is so much fun, giggles the little penguin. The other penguins dive into the water. Come with us, little penguin, they call. But little penguin is too scared. Everyone loves sliding on the ice. They whiz and spin and skid. Little Penguin goes fastest of all, but then, help! He wibbles and wobbles on the very edge. I nearly fell in, he gasped, and his little wings tremble. <laughs> Poor Little Penguin, says Little Seal Cub. Don't worry, I'll play with you. Little Penguin and Little Seal Cub race and chase each other. They go around the icy glaciers and through the powdery snow. Then, whoops! Little Penguin skits on the ice. Help! cries Little Penguin. Swoosh! He slides down the snowbank. Splash! Splosh! Little Penguin is in the water. At first he's scared, but then he kicks his legs. He flaps his little wings and whoosh! Suddenly he's swimming. This isn't scary, says Little Penguin. This is fun. Little Penguin plops back onto the ice. That was great, he laughs. Do you want to do it again? asks Little Seal Cub. Yes, please, says Little Penguin. Then he sees Little Polar Bear standing on the ice. Come and play with us, calls Little Penguin. I'm not sure, whispers Little Polar Bear. The water is a bit scary. Little Penguin gives a great big smile. I know exactly how you feel, he says. I used to be scared too. Little Penguin and Little Polar Bear slide and splash into the water. Little Penguin and his friends had lots of fun playing in the sea. I'll never be scared of the water again, said Little Penguin. <coughs> and he never was. The end. Did you like Be Brave, Little Penguin? You'll be brave like Little Penguin, right? All right, guys, I hope you liked that book. So let's just talk about a few things. Did you notice how the penguin felt in the beginning of the story? Yeah, he felt scared. And that's okay to feel scared. But then he ended up going into the water and he really, really liked it. And then he was able to help his friend, the polar bear, join him to get into the water as well and make him not scared of it either. Um, have you, were you guys ever afraid of the water before you went swimming? I love to swim. I love at the pool. I love the ocean. Those are some of my favorite things to do. You guys too? Yeah, that's why I love summer because that means we get to swim. All right, guys, I hope you really liked that book and enjoyed reading it along with us. Thank you.